I've always felt that finding new art, it's like a treasure hunt. And the way that you find that art is to look at absolutely everything. I'm Doris Lockhart, and I've been collecting art for a long time now. I'm a writer. I try to make narratives with words. I don't want to look up from my computer and see a narrative on the wall. So figurative art was never for me. It's inevitable that you will learn to be open to what you're looking at in a positive way. And you will either realize internally, almost without using your brain, but rather your um, instinctive capacities, that it's for you or it isn't. I, I just go and look and look. And then when you see something, I always think, if I've looked at, at, a, at a new young artist, um, if I still remember those pieces, those works, when I wake up in the morning, they're still in my head, then that's work I really want to live with. Two of my art heroines are um, Giorgio O'Keefe and Agnes Martin. Ag I interviewed her and she said, well, I have always believed that art should be beautiful. Now, you did not use that word in the 80s about art. It was provocative, it was aggressive, and she used the word beauty and beautiful. And I thought, my God, that's, that's her heretical in this world. The Amar Gallery show is fascinating because these were women who, in their day, were either, as I say, living in the shadow of their husband's fame, like Elaine de Kooning, or making really interesting work that just didn't rise to the surface because the male uh, macho atmosphere was so strong in New York at the time. And in the great days of Hollywood, there was a photographer named Halstead. And Halstead took photographs of all the female stars of the day and he took a most wonderful picture of one of my heroines who was Katharine Hepburn. I was thinking of a Christmas present for my then husband, Charles Saatchi. So I thought, hey, maybe a photograph by Maplethorpe. And I asked him if he'd be interested. And he said, yeah, I'd love to. And I mentioned the Halstead photograph of Katharine Hepburn. I came back and he was holding something behind his back and I came in to, walked in from his dark room and he said, okay, he said, I've got two here. He said, here's the one that I think you'll like and showed me the eyes open version. And he said, and here's the one that I like best and it was the eyes closed. We became very good friends. He was one of the kindest gentlest man I've ever met. Good art almost forces a response, but it, it's how the artist has approached making that work. For example, I think the meeting forced upon art makers these days is technology, but I personally still prefer to see the evidence of the human hand. And they can be found at the young galleries. I mean, in America, there's uh, my friend Ellen Phelan, she has looked at photography, um, in particular Ache, and her paintings are in that fluid space, which I love, between figuration and abstraction. And then there's Toby Patterson in Scotland, there's um, Susan Collis, there's Linda Karshan, who's a minimalist, uh, whose work is becoming more and more rec recognized, who shows at Redfern here, Marcus Coates, who relates his work very much to nature. A young artist named Hugh Bush, who again is confronting that uh, dilemma of the, the fourth dimension in painting. So there are these young artists around, and I think that uh, they, will, they will make it. As long as people are keen about looking, as long as people will go to what may be considered obscure galleries, um, and look at the work and respond to it, um, they'll be okay.